Oh, he's right on target. Curling has a language all its own. You bring all the stones out to just past the hog line. These people from the Madison School and Community Recreation Association's adaptive sports program are all learning to bury the stone, curl and counter as they try hitting the button, uh, not the backboards. When Sherry's throwing, make her back up probably about another 20 feet and let her throw against Lee just to start to get a feel of it and we'll switch around, okay? Steve Brown is the guy doing the teaching. He's the resident curling ambassador. His daughter played on an Olympic curling team. His son is also great with the stones. The guy on the ice today who is really a superstar is this man, Roy Heathcote. Take your glove off for one time so you can feel what you're doing with the stick. Heathcote was on the curling team that ended up in the Torino Olympics and recently won the bronze medal at the Wheelchair Curling Championships in Switzerland, earning the U.S. a spot in the 2010 Paralympics in Vancouver. This event is about getting the word out. It's not about being able-bodied or not. It's about curling and exposing as many people to this sport as possible. It's a lifelong sport. That's the thing I'd probably stress more than anything. Uh, it's something that we've got kids down here at six and seven playing, and you've got people that are almost 90 years old that can play. The game doesn't move too fast, that's for certain. There's something intriguing and mysterious about watching the stone move slowly down the ice as you wait for the very cool but distinctive clunk. Or is it more of a click? I guess it doesn't matter. What does matter is these people are learning. They're learning the language of curling and discovering what tons of others did after the last Olympics. The networks couldn't believe it. They were getting inquiries from all over the country and the world that, hey, this is fascinating, and we'd rather watch curling than we would uh, the figure skaters warm up and uh, do their little pouting sessions about everything else. And of course, like everyone else here at the Madison Curling Club today, just waiting for that magical clunk <laughs> or click, whatever you think it may be. Steve Brown and others are just glad you're here at all.